battery. It's a 100 amp hour capacity battery from the DJ DC Power Company. That name is uh, short for DJ DC Power. Uh, they have a long name on Amazon, but the company uh, reached out to me. They make a ton of really cool lithium battery products. This is the hottest thing right now if you're upgrading your RV this year. As I was running uh, here to get the show, I actually made a list for you because I didn't want to miss anything about all of the reasons why you might want to consider upgrading to lithium. So I got a top five list for you here. First on this is the weight savings. So this from DJDC Power is a 21 pound battery. I can with two fingers lift it up. Try to do that with a deep cycle battery. This thing is light. Now, if you're a traditional RVer and you've got a couple Group 24 deep cycles, those are about 60 pounds each. This is 21 and a half pounds. I tested it at 21 points, well, 21 pounds, seven ounces. So just right in there, about 21 and a half pounds. Uh, top terminal, so it's got the, the terminal lugs here on top is how you attach it. The weight savings though, it's up to a third of the weight of an existing battery. So that's the number one thing you get here is weight savings in this package. A number two on my list is going to be the energy density. This thing is dense and dense, I mean good. <laughs> you get a full 100 amp hours as you see on the label over here. That's a capacity measurement at 12 volts. So there's 1280 watt hours in this battery right here. How does that compare to your traditional lead acid, AGM, and other batteries? A battery this size from an AGM is gonna have about 65 amp hour. Well, that deep cycle can only go down to about 20% or so, and that's pushing it before you have to charge it back up. If you go further than that, you risk damaging your battery. So that's a really dangerous thing. If you damage your battery, the next time it's not gonna charge up quite as much and that deep cycle is just gonna keep deteriorating. So other interesting things about this, this is a group 31 battery. So the neat, neat thing about this is they've basically been designing these batteries around the older standards. So if you look at this, this battery right here fits in a group 31 box. Now you can get them in group 34, or sorry, group 24 <laughs> sizes and larger ones depending on the capacity needs here. So you can see from this side how it looks. Um, so pretty decent. Uh, it does have a carrying handle. So you've got a lot of flexibility and form factor, but one of the things I just did with this battery that you wouldn't do with a flooded battery is I just set it on its side. You can set it on its edge. You can do all that stuff. So. Uh, these lithium iron phosphate batteries can actually be mounted in different positions. So check, check the manual to make sure there's a couple models that can only be mounted certain ways. But in most cases, you have a lot more mounting flexibility because there's nothing to spill out of these batteries. They're completely sealed. That's another thing about them is they're much safer batteries. So these batteries, the lithium iron phosphate, that's the life PO batteries. You'll see that life PO4. That's lithium iron phosphate. The iron phosphate chemistry in this makes it a much safer battery and it's actually recyclable. That's another really cool thing about this is you can recycle a lot of the components in this battery, which are much safer than some of the battery acids and toxic components in the other ones. So these lithium iron phosphates are much, much safer and they have an included battery management system or a BMS installed. So if you were to short the terminals out, that's gonna be an overcurrent protection, it's gonna shut it off. If you were to overcharge it, maybe something went crazy and you got 200 amps of charge coming into it, it's gonna shut it off. So the battery management system is gonna protect the cells inside the battery. 4,000 plus deep cycle count and 100 amp hour maximum continuous discharge current. Well, that means that you can cycle this 4,000 times. So if you took this battery down to zero every single day, you're looking at 10 years of battery cycle life on here. 4,000 days that you could do that. It comes with a five year warranty on here and the service life is uh, mentioned up here is 10 years. The low voltage cutoff on that BMS so it doesn't damage the cells is 10 volts. And the standard charge current and the standard discharge is around 20 amps. That's a few reasons why you may wanna consider lithium. I will run this battery through all of my standard tests here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this switch on. And by doing that, we see our battery monitor comes up right here. So there you go. So it's at 13.53 volts right now. Now I haven't turned the inverters on or anything else and I have not plugged the charger in on this. So you can see the charger comes on. That's one thing that you may wanna consider when you're doing 
doing a, a lithium system here. So there's my NOCO charger, it's fully automatic. It's gonna come onto the lithium mode and it's gonna start charging it. Our voltage is starting to jump back up and it's actually gonna be adding. It's at one amp right now because the battery's really topped off. That's from DJ DC Power.